it is an honor to be here, and I can tell you, 10 years in the Senate, uh, I tried to keep my nose out of the council's business, but uh, I never testified before, but this is important. Uh, I thank Councilman Marks for putting it in. Um, I'm here today to advocate for the mountain bikers and for them to be able to ride their bikes in La Grave Reservoir in peace once and for all. And The history of Lagre Reservoir and the issues concerning the water degradation, which incidentally the reservoir feeds one and a half million water drinkers, uh, is an important one. And for years, uh, we never had a deer hunt in Lagre Reservoir. And I worked with uh, the former uh, mayor, Mayor Sheila Dixon, uh, very hard, and finally, about five years ago, worked out a compromise where we could have a deer hunt in Lagre Reservoir. That's very, very important to this issue because their whole contention is that about water quality and about bikers hurting the water quality. But their own scientists have said over and over, year after year, that the biggest threat to the water quality, 12 times more than anything else that could happen, is the deer population. And with the help of the mayor, we have a regulated deer hunt that has worked a lot great in reservoir, the forest and the undercover is starting to come back up, up again after 30 years of not having natural predators. The deer now have natural deer now have predators. We've thinned the population, we're getting growth back, and we're keeping sediment out of the reservoir. And this is very important because if you take a look at what the bikers do, the impact on the water quality of Lagre Reservoir is negligible. We're talking about single track trails. I've been down there a number of times, probably hiked more than I ever imagined I would hike in the reservoir. And I can tell you that you could take a yardstick and put it across where their trails are and you wouldn't even hit a foot. You're talking about... Finish your thought. Okay. <laughs> I respect your time. I understand. Thank you. We're talking about six to nine inches long. In the meantime, you have fishermen who go down there and fish and, and they're right next to the water. We're talking about a 150 foot buffer. They do minimal damage. Uh, more importantly, the way they contribute, the way they rebuild trails, there's no reason in the world that I believe that we can't do this and make this better for many, many people in all of your districts who use this as a recreation source. And I thank you very much for that.